bitches. New cop pocket fooling that like who is this nigga? Since a young nigga, streets of fools, my nigga. Ain't none of these rap niggas fooling me, nigga. What's up y'all? It's D Side and I had the pleasure to partner up with Beautiful Ever to bring y'all this bomb video. Today I'm gonna be featuring their Malaysian Jerry Curly human hair. I have an 18 inch closure, two 26 inch bundles, and one 24 inch bundle. The hair looks amazing, it feels amazing, the wefts are awesome. I never wore curly hair before, but shout out to Beautiful Ever for sending me curly hair because y'all made me step out of the box, you know, and make a change within myself. So thank you. Now my sister Destiny did make this into a wig. I'm not sure if I already said that or not, but anywho, she made it into a wig. She doubled the first bundle. Basically what that means, you know how you take a piece of paper, you fold it up, boom, it's double. Same thing with the bundle. You fold it up, you sew it on there. And then make sure that you can fit all the hair. And it's just like, bro, it make it thicker. And I don't know, it double up your first bundle, okay? All right, this is the third and final bundle. It is 24 inches long. And just a tip to you people who are like new to weave and what, look at you people. <laughs> A tip to everyone who's new to weave, like always double up on your longest length. And what I mean is if you want 20 inches to be your longest length, then I would say get two bundles of 20 inch because you don't want to go 20, 18, 16 because it'll be thick at the root. And as it goes down to the tip, it will become thin and you don't really want that. You want it to be nice and full from the rooter to the tutor. We done been through this. Now she's demonstrating on how she curve um, the hair once she gets towards the top. You don't want to make a sharp L like whoop whoop because in the corner of it, you know, it's going to be sticking up and we don't really want want that so she gonna show you how you just slightly curve it and hold it in place with the t-pins so it'll be easier for you to sew down and now she's showing y'all like how much she spaced it out because you don't want to sew the tricks literally right on top of each other because when you get to the top of your head it's gonna be standing up and looking wig and you're gonna be looking like somebody grandma and we not nobody grandma we somebody wcw like <laughs> So when you get to the top, make sure you space it out. Don't space it out too much to the point where you can see through the wig. Space it out so that it could be thin. Now that she made her way over to the top, she's gonna secure the bundle with the closure, basically making it become one. So if I wanna, you know, wear some braids or something in the closure, you won't just see open space. Instead of cutting the track once she gets to the top like most people do, she's going to do the flip over method. I like this method because since you're not cutting the hair, that's not going to cause, you know, your hair to shed. Most people be like, oh, my hair is shedding. Well, you keep cutting your track. What you think going to happen? She's going to sew through the weft of the track, through the closure, and then pull it back out. And there you go. I'm not sure if y'all noticed, but she doesn't sew like, you know how the springs in a um, spiral notebook kind of just go around and around. She's not just sewing like that. Each time she stitch, she's going to lock it in place. It keep the wig from getting loose. It keep the tracks from like, if the thread slip, it keep the tracks from just bunching up and lifting up and all of that. And now she um got to the end of her thread, so she's showing you all how you just weft to basically secure it in place and you're gonna tie it three times so that it don't come loose. All right, now she's on the last one. She's just gonna sew that to the closure to pull everything together and that's it. Here's a look of how the closure look when I first got it. It's nice and full, but we are gonna customize it. Gonna thin out the hairline just a tad bit. We're not gonna over pluck it. And I'm also gonna add baby hairs in the end gonna make a small line behind the hairline i don't like to pluck right along the hairline because i don't want it to just be lace right there and then we're gonna need those hairs to you know make baby edges so yeah i'm gonna put a small part behind there pluck 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 and then just keep on parting with but like small sections not big sections you want it to gradually you know thicken up you could do about three to four you know small sections going towards the back and then that's about it i don't really you know like i said i don't like to over pluck oh and one more thing you know how if you wear like a middle part or a side part most people will pluck it i stopped plucking it for the simple fact that over time your frontal or your closure will start to just become thin because as you notice when you brush it and comb it just do all this tugging and pulling on it over time hairs are going to come out so don't do that just get you some concealer like the powder kind i don't use the um, liquid kind and then just put that across the part you know because you don't want to be walking around bald and then when you try to part your hair it's going to be just bald spots and you do not want that
little small part going across the front of my hairline and just pluck behind it, you know, to thin it out just a little bit. And once I'm done plucking, I'm going to go ahead and wash the hair. And as y'all see, I got a little hair raw. This, only the hairs that came from me tweezing it, of course. And yeah, this hair doesn't really have that much shedding. Now I'm going to let my inner guru shine through. If you all would like to see an in-depth tutorial on how I wash my wigs, hit the link in the description down below. Finally, gosh, I've been doing this once over forever, y'all. I ain't got no rest. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with water and then I'm just gonna comb it through, you know, to make sure I don't have any tangles. And then I'm gonna get some oil and I'm gonna spray that on there and make sure I get the ends too because if the ends are just dry and ugly, I feel like it'll work its way up the hair or something. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna add moisture with um some Cantu little curling stuff. I'm just gonna finger comb that through. And once I do that, I'm gonna come behind it with some softy girl. See, y'all thought I was gonna comb with eco styler no baby we're taking it all the way back with the softy and i'm also gonna finger comb that through it too because i want the hairs to like the, each curl to clump up you know what i'm saying to like define so when it dry it just stay like that and then it look wet because i have oil in it and then the softy gel is what you know just help you hold it shake so yeah that's it And then I'm gonna part my hair. Don't wanna put it like right where the closure ends because someone is gonna see a trick and we don't want that. So I'm gonna leave out just a little bit of hair right there so that it can cover up the trick and also cover the tricks in the back, which is why I'm gonna part out the back of the closure also. And I do like my hair to be like flat down on my head like, like that. So I wet the closure and I'm gonna apply just a little bit of the softy gel, you know, just to make sure that it don't puff up right there. Because without any product on the hair, like I noticed the first day I wore it, without any product, the hair will puff up. Then I'm going to finish the hair off with the steps that I previously showed you all. I'm going to spray it a little bit with some water and then come right behind it with the got to be oil. And then I'm going to moisturize and I'm going to lock everything in and finger combing through with the softy gel. Girls be like, okay, they're just going to take our hand. Hold on, wait, let me show it to y'all. Just going to take our four fingers to evenly distribute throughout our hair. You know I love evenly distribute. <laughs> Distribute. I don't know how you say it. Right, now it's time for the baby edges now um the mistake that i made when i first got a wig is that i literally just went in and grabbed out some hair just made big sections please make sure you get those edges literally from the edge of that lace don't go within that hair because you're not gonna like it trust me and when i swoop it all right this is how i do it because at first i just went in and i made a part and then i cut the hair and i was like girl this ain't right so what you want to do is you want to take a small section like go in like a upside down you right and then when you swoop it like making a you where the tip of that hair is that's where you make your next section to grab the hair. You get what I'm saying? I mean, you looking at it, so you get it. I'm just trying to talk y'all out through it. <laughs> and I hope that makes sense, y'all. Um, I know I've been rambling in this video. I do apologize. And once you're done, you can um, get your diffuser and go ahead and dry it. Or you can get a little ratchet like me. I sit mine in front of the fan, girl. I was tired. It was like 2 in the morning. I was like, man, I'm finna take a bath and go to bed. I didn't get a chance to film an outro, but I do have a video clip of me at the mall on the next day. And this is like later on that day. I had the wig on all day. I was flipping it and flipping it. So as you all can see, um, it do hold a curl. And look, it look wet, right? But it's not. It's completely dressed. So yeah, I give this hair two thumbs up. I love it. And thank you, Beauty Forever, for partnering with me. And thanks to you all for watching all the way to the end. I hope y'all didn't skip because if you did, oh, forget you. Peace. I come from the bottom, so tell me what you hate for. I'm a young player, folks serve the papers. Now I ride coops, plenty horses like a stable. This right here, my come up.